Hello there, guys. Welcome back to another short online tutorial. Today, we're based in Adobe Illustrator, and it's Jack from Blue Sky Graphics. What I'd like to do today, guys, is focus on the 3D and materials tool within Adobe Illustrator. I have a chest piece illustration in front of you here, and all I did was use the 3D and materials tool with inside Adobe Illustrator to really create this really realistic 3D illustration. And what I'd like to do today is show you the step-by-step -step process of what I did to create a piece like so. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is gonna go to another artboard here, okay? And as you can see, what I've done earlier is I've uh, used the pen tool and created this outline of a chess piece, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is let's select this like so and let's remove the stroke coming up here and let's just apply a black color in there like so. It won't matter the color because eventually what we're doing is applying a material to this illustration. Now, what I actually need is I need uh, the exact half of this illustration, okay? So simply what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a rectangle tool and I'm gonna to come to the center point of the chest piece like so and create a rectangle like so. I'm then gonna use my selection tool and select everything, okay? And I wanna now remove this section here, okay? So if I now use the shape builder tool, by default, it will build shapes, but what I would like to do is remove. So whilst using this shape, what I'm gonna do is press the uh, shortcut option on Mac or Alt on Windows. And you'll notice the little plus sign by the arrow will now turn to a minus, like so. And if I just click and drag through, as you can see, I can remove that section there. So perfect. As you can see, I have half of the illustration now, half of the flat um, shape that I created using the pen tool. And now what I want to do is I want to bring this to life and use it within the 3D materials options. So I'm going to select it. And then I'm going to come to using the selection tool. And then I'm going to come to effect. As you can see, we have 3D and materials. Now we have all these options here. The option that I would like to be using is revolve like so, okay? Now as you can see, it comes, it brings up the 3D and materials option here. Now, the revolve option hasn't worked straight away. The reason is, is we need to change the offset direction from left edge to now the right edge. And there you can see the chess piece is now coming to life. We have all different, we have lots of different options that we can use, okay? We can rotate it, uh, our option like so. Okay, depending on what you're looking for. And we have certain preset rotation options that we can come down here and rotate. Okay, but I quite like the positioning of the uh, chest piece at the moment. Now what I wanna do is apply a material to this particular uh, piece here. So what I'm gonna do is come to the material options at the top. And as you can see now, we have an array of materials that we can apply, okay? And on that example, I went for a nice wood material. So if I scroll down here, Fantastic, here's our wood options. Let's say for instance, I went through larch wood. Fantastic, I'm a fan. I'm a fan, we have different types. Ash wood. Okay, natural chestnut wood, which I'm a, quite a fan of there actually, to be honest with yourself, but I'm gonna go for larch wood, like so. Now, if we scroll down here, we have all of the options that we can change um, with, the, with the actual material that we've applied. So. We can repeat it a little bit like so, there we go. And then we can change knot amounts, which we can increase, bring more knots into the wood. Let's say all changeable for you. Varnish color intensity, you may want to increase that, decrease that, okay. All options for you to change in your free time and really get to scratch his scale, which you may want to increase, scratch his density. Okay, like I said, you can get lost in these options, okay? So just in your own time, when you're going through these and applying the materials, just have a go through these options here um, because they can really um, define your uh, style of illustration with your 3D elements because then you can manipulate the style depending upon your uh, requirements, okay? Now, what I wanna do is add some uh, change and manipulate the lighting a little bit. So I can come to my lighting option here 
So I've got the presets which we can use to diffuse top left, top right. I want it to have a fan of standard. And we can manipulate the intensity, bring that down, increase it. Okay, what I may want to do now is just affect the rotation a little bit there, like so. Okay, we have the height. As you can see, it's changing in real time there. So it's really easy for you to judge what you're looking for. Um, and this, I'm happy with that. Okay, we do have our shadow options at the bottom here that we can apply a shadow if we want to. Um, but for this particular illustration, I'm not going to apply our shadows. Now, the last thing I'll always like to do with my 3D objects, okay, is to render. So if I come to this element here, what I'm going to do is now render the image. So I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to make sure I want the quality of high and we're going to say render. Now, when we render, okay, this is really bringing in a, an extra sense of realism to our 3D illustration, okay? You'll notice now with the lighting, with the shading, um, with the material, everything, it really brings um, just an extra sense of realism to your uh, illustrations and your 3D shapes. And as you can see, we have a nice sort of reflection there, really cool uh, effect. Now, after I've rendered, I want to expand this because if I was to start moving this around on the dartboard, you'd always have the rendering option. So I'm happy with everything now. So let's close our 3D materials window down. And with that still high, uh, selected with the uh, selected selection tool, I'm now gonna come to object and expand the experience. Fantastic. And there's my chest piece. What I'm gonna do now using my alignment tools is just align that correctly horizontally and vertically in the artboard. Let's create, some, let's create a nice background. So let's use our rectangle tool here. And let's put a rectangle all over our artboard. I wanna apply a little gradient in there. So I wanna to come to a gradient option there. The black option, I'm going to double click the color stop here, which will allow me to change it. So I'm just gonna apply, let's go for, yeah, sort of yellowy kind of color. But I'm gonna manipulate that here, let's say. What I want to do is apply a radial gradient also to the uh, gradient there. So let's affect that a little bit more, bring that up a little tad like so. Wonderful. I'm happy with that. Okay. Now, with that still selected, I'm going to right click, arrange, and send that to the back. Perfect. And there you can see you have your chest piece uh, created from a very flat illustration using the 3D and materials tool within Adobe Illustrator. If you're interested in finding out more about Blue Sky Graphics, take a look at our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Also as well, we have uh, tutorials coming out on a weekly basis ranging from Photoshop, InDesign, Illustrator, um, Elementor, XD. So please take a look, really, uh, really um, beneficial information on there and some really cool effects. Thank you very much, guys. Take care. I'll see you next time.